So kind of the companion piece to my earlier thing about the state of kind of the industry of indie games and early access is, let's talk about headlines like this. Why is Starfield hemorrhaging active players? Well, I can tell you. It's a single player game. It's not made to be your life. And we have gotten so accustomed that if you release a AAA product right now, it's going to be your life. Modern Warfare 3 is 15 games in one game. It's supposed to be your life. You're supposed to not play any other game. That is the only game you're supposed to dedicate your life to. We see this with Destiny. We see this with a whole bunch of other games that are trying to be the lifestyle game. And that takes air out of the room. That makes it hard for other games to exist alongside of those because the expectation is those games are going to be around forever. And then also you have sites like Kotaku where you can say if you like Starfield or not, whatever. But to say it's a failure because a single player game month after launch is losing players? Yeah, they finished it. That's what happens to, <laughs> to single player games. You finish them, right? Like my favorite single player games are ones that I finished in a weekend. But the industry is now framing that as failure. And we keep doing this. There's like no success anymore for anybody. If something isn't PUBG or Fortnite, it's a failure. And then half the people you talk to is going to say PUBG is a failure or Fortnite's a failure. And this is this attitude that's just pervasive. And it sinks into the discussion around these games. You know, is Starfield a failure? No, it's not. Was it your cup of tea? Maybe not. That's okay, though. But you can't deny that it got a lot of attention, a lot of players, a bunch of people had fun playing it. And maybe it didn't have the legs of something like one of their other games, you know. I mean, Skyrim's still being played today. But that doesn't make it a failure. That just makes it something different. And we got to get off of this. Like, this is just so destructive that everything in the industry is geared to how can I call this a failure? Fortnite's a failure. Okay, dude. Whatever, man. Like... Every single point of coverage is how can we call something a failure? How can we declare something a failure? How can we think of something as being a failure versus a success? And then rarely, we do occasionally call out some successes, right? But they're super rare. And they're of the, like, the highest stratosphere of games versus there used to just be a lot of good doubles and triples you played and you had fun and they were great games and you played them for two weeks with your friends and then you moved on. Right? I mean, like when we made our game, we purposely said, we're not a lifestyle game. You're not going to just play this game all the time. You're going to play all these other games. We just want a game that you can come back to if you're playing those other games with your friends on a weekly basis, and, you know, a couple times a week, and have that kind of interaction with it and that kind of relationship with it, which is what I saw in Love for Dead. But to call it a... Let's look at that headline one more time. This has to be just the stupidest one I've seen this year. I mean, it factually isn't correct or incorrect. It's losing players. But stating, like, it's, it's the joke of uh, your mom eats pumpkin pie. Right? It's how you say it. There's nothing wrong with your mom eating pumpkin pie, but you say it like that. You think also, like, oh, wait, what? Is there some weird sexual thing I don't know about pumpkin pie? There's not. Don't worry. Your mom's fine. But this, come on, man. This gets exhausting. It just does.